Hi, my name is Nicole. I am an educator, I am disabled, and I have long COVID. It's important to wear a mask to the Queer Liberation March because although the government has declared the COVID-19 emergency over, COVID-19 continues to cause disproportionate harm, including disability and death, to low-income, elderly, disabled, and immunocompromised people, and in Indigenous, Black, and Latinx communities. We all have to work together to keep our communities safe, and the best way to do that is to use multiple layers of protection. According to the, the People's CDC, very quickly, that is to surveillance tests, to vaccinate and boost yourselves, to ventilate the air, to watch out for symptoms and exposure, um, to wear masks, universal masking, to be outdoors as much as possible, to monitor the CO2 levels in indoor spaces, to social distance, to filter the air, to be in small groups, and to get government uh, funding and, and make policies. Now, today I just want to focus on masking. So the current strain of COVID-19 in New York City, according to the nyc.gov website, is an Omicron variant called XBB 1.5. It is to date the most infectious strain. To bring back a slogan from earlier in the pandemic, my mask protects you and your mask protects me. So please wear a well-fitting, high-quality mask, and in particular, a KN95 or better if you can. I'd also urge you to do a rapid test before attending and to stay home if you feel ill. Your fellow community members' health may depend on it. Remember also that anyone can get long COVID even after a mild infection. I unfortunately am proof of that. And each infection raises your chance uh, of getting long COVID as well as other health problems. So I hope everyone can stay safe and have a wonderful Queer Liberation March. So in solidarity, we'll see you on Sunday.